I solemnly swear I am up to no good. What's up YouTube and welcome back to another brand new episode of CJ's Cosplays. Now as you can probably tell by my handy dandy wand, today's episode is going to be about Harry Potter. Now the Harry Potter franchise is something that is very very near and dear to my heart. I love the movies, I love the books, and I find myself getting lost in all of the different Harry Potter merchandise out there. I have an extremely large collection of Noble Collection wands, I have a bunch of prop replicas, I also went as far as to, for Halloween this past year, I actually turned my house into my own version of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter for a Halloween party for my niece and nephew. As you can see, the shirt that I am wearing is a Charms Club t-shirt, which I got from the Wizarding Trunk, which is exactly what we are going to be talking about today. So a little bit of info about the Wizarding Trunk. The Wizarding Trunk is a bi-monthly Harry Potter themed subscription box. In each box, you can expect to get eight to 10 magical items. Now, while the Wizarding Trunk has had different themes based on each movie, based off of magical creatures, based off of characters, what they've been doing for the past few months is they have been basing them on different classes. So in June, we got the Herbology and Ruins box. In August, we got the Transfiguration, Apparition, and Flying box. In October, we got the Care of Magical Creatures and Arithmancy box. In December, we got Charms and Non-Magical Studies. And in February, we have Potions and Astronomy. Now, I am very, very excited to open this month's Wizarding Trunk. Uh, as you can see, here is the front of the box. One of the things that I love about the wizarding trunk is the detail on the box. On the side it says magical post and on the other side it says fragile magical delivery which I just think is so funny. Let's open this on this side, one over here, and let's see what we got. Alright so right at the top of it we have uh, a cheat sheet which I believe it is and I don't want to look at it. So you guys can see every wizarding trunk comes with this like shredded brown paper, which I just think is so cool. It's like an extra step, uh, making it feel more like something you would actually get from the Wizarding World. You could have put packing peanuts in it, but instead they go for this, which kind of feels like a replicated straw. I just think that that's a really, really cool touch. So we'll start with the smaller things first. So first off, we got this little box right here. Love the boxes too. Everything that's fragile normally comes with uh, a box around it so it's not gonna be just shaken up around there. Since this is the potions box, I think we have a lot of potions here, which I am very, very excited about. So let's see what this is. All right. Oh. All right, so it is a potion. And let's see, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. So right off the bat, this is something really, really cool and I love what's going on in it. So right here, it says Phoenix Tears. Very rare, immense healing powers. Now, Fox is one of my favorite magical creatures, probably my favorite magical creature in uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So this is just such a cool little little treat. And I love e even the graphic of the Phoenix crying on that. It's so kind of depressing, but also awesome. Moving on to the next item. Here we have another tiny box, which Again, it's probably a potion, I would imagine. Could be something different though. Hopefully it is, maybe it is. Let's see what we have right here. So, <gasps> all right guys, this is something I have wanted for a while. It looks to me like this is Felix Felicis, which is liquid luck. This vial is really cool. I don't think you could stand this one up, so you might have to lay it sideways, which I would still be wary about. I'm sure that there's probably like a little stand or something I could find to put this in. I have a bunch of my previous potions from the Wizarding Trunk up on my bookshelf, which I would love to show you guys in another video. If you want to see that video, please just mention it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get that one out to you. It has like these little flakes in it too, which are very cool. I wonder if I shake it. I know some of these potion makers use mica uh, inside of it. Yeah, there we go. You get that cool, like, gold sparkly effect going. So next up, we have 
Oh, it looks like looks like a piece of jewelry, which is very cool. I love jewelry. Normally I have a bunch of rings on, which you guys have probably seen in one of my other videos, uh, but I just didn't put them on right now. Ooh. Oh, this is really cool. All right, so to show you guys up close, it is a, looks like the galaxy, and it's inside of a sphere, and if you turn it, it has it on the other side. It's so cool how it, it moves. It's kind of, kind of hypnotizing. I can't wait to see the breakdown of what all of these things are. I, I'm going through all of these blindly. Uh, there, it was the cheat sheet up at the top, but I didn't want to look at that until uh, I went through everything first, so this way I could be surprised. And this way you guys could be surprised too. So right underneath that, I can already see a Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. And let's see what this one is. Oh. All right, this is awesome. This is one of my favorite pins I think I've seen from the Wizarding Trunk. So it says, World's Strongest Love Potion. So we've got an M. Hortensia uh, Love Potion pin, and this is really, really cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. It makes absolute sense. It's very cute. I mean, the detail that the Wizarding Trunk goes into on, on, on these pins and pretty much everything else that's in it is just absolutely incredible. I'll give you guys another look at that right there. The camera, unfortunately, is not zooming in. I apologize for that, guys. But let's move on to the next. Oh, all right, okay, so uh, we have a box of Bezoars. Okay, now, right off the bat, I'm gonna assume that this is from Danny over at uh, Wizarding Workshop. Now, for those of you who don't know, Danny at Wizardry Workshop is one of the best Harry Potter YouTubers out there. He is a graphic designer, and he has been working with the Wizarding Trunk for the past few months, and he delivers some of the greatest prop replica pieces I have ever seen. I actually used a lot of his designs when I was making my Harry Potter party this past fall. He delivers a lot of his stuff for free from his website. Also, if you subscribe to his Patreon for only $5 a month, you can get all of his exclusive content and design assets. So for paying $5 a month for those Harry Potter design assets, in my opinion, it is completely worth the money. We'll get to that a little more later and I will put his link below in the description. Uh, let's open up this box of bazaars. All right, it's just a bunch of tiny rocks, but that's still awesome. Uh, this box I will definitely be using to store things in in the future. I might keep the doors in here for now. I might take them out and use them for something else. I don't know, but I just love this box. This is just awesome. I can't wait to put this on my potion shelf. Moving forward, let's go into this square box that we have right in the center. Use my handy dandy box cutter. All right, so this, oh, okay. All right, this, this is awesome. So here we have a ceramic cauldron. This is so cool, oh my gosh. So with the potions box, of course it makes sense to get a cauldron. That way you can put all of your different ingredients together and make one killer potion. So they always give a cheat sheet and I wonder if the cheat sheet that was up at the top, which we will look at last, is actually the recipe for this potion. That would be a nice little touch, which I'm, I'm sure that they probably went to that length. That's, that's awesome. All right, so moving forward to our next piece, we have, oh wow, this is actually really heavy. So we have another box. Yeah, let's open it the right way so I don't drop it all over the place. Is this, okay, this is another potion. This is the big potion. This is actually the biggest one that I've gotten from them so far. So let's see what it is. It's blue, oh, okay. All right, this is by far my favorite thing I've gotten in the box now. Wow, wow. Okay, so my favorite professor at Hogwarts is Remus Lupin, and right here we have a Wolfsbane potion. It says, keep the beast at bay with Wolfsbane. Again, from Pure Blood Apothecary, and wow. I mean, to show you guys right here, here is the label, which is incredible. It comes with this awesome coin hang tag that has a wolf howling at the moon. It also comes with a seal at the top, which is also a wolf howling at the moon. And I love the ones that have the extra detail of the twine wrapped around the collar. It just is very cool and vintage and 
something that I really like. And inside of it, we have some Wolfsbane flowers. Now, that is just awesome. I love the cycle of the moon that's right on top of this, and I love the half person, half wolf that's right in the center. That is. That is some really great design work. All right, let's get to see what else is in the box. There's not much left. So next up we have Belladonna and Knotgrass Seeds. So here's a little tiny one uh, with just some seeds inside of it. it makes a nice little sound. Wow. I, I, I love this box. This is definitely my favorite Wizard and Drunk that I've had so far. Move some of this hay out of the way for right now. Balance that up there. So next up we have Mr. Brisbane's Brass Polish and Sanitizer. Organic aloe vera gel and juice, 70% alcohol, sweet orange and pink grapefruit essential oils. Leading cleaner for all your astronomical instruments. All right, so let's take the top off and let's spray this uh, sanitizer. Uh, I guess this is hand sanitizer, I would assume. I don't think it's actual brass polish, so let's see. Ooh. Ooh, that's that smells great actually. Use a little more of that. Wow. Let's see how it feels on the hands. Okay, so I definitely smell the citrus. Um, I guess it was a good thing I didn't wear my rings after all. Wow. That smells great actually. They have done a few of these in the past. Uh, I have an essential oil kit from them. I also have a candle that I got and this is no exception. Again, another great product from the Wizard of Trunk. So next up we have what looks to be a pad. <sighs> okay, this is very cool. Let me move this out of the way real fast so it doesn't topple over. So this is actually a recipes notepad. And it says, recipe efficiens elixir. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't pronounce that right, please don't judge me. Please write it in the comments, I'm sorry. It says, this potion is used to increase the productivity of the drinker. Cautions, do not exceed the suggested dosage. Doing so can result in severe exhaustion. Ingredients, shopping list, instructions to do, effects and notes, notes. This is very cool. Okay, so it says page 501 at the very bottom. And each of these are meant to be, you have one for shopping list, one for to do, and one for notes. I think that's very cool. So you have a daily uh, breakdown of all of your chores that you have versus having one thing themed specifically for one notepad. Uh, I think it's very cool actually to break this down so you have kind of a universal notepad that you can refer to whenever you need to. That's very cool. Again, another cool item. So we're getting down to the last two items in here. One is sitting on top, but I'm going to save that one for the very end. Uh, so we're going to get onto this, which is uh, what looks to me probably a print. The Wizarding Trunk always gives you a print within every box. So right here we have, oh, oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we have a print that is a breakdown of the stars in the sky, the different constellations. And it looks like this is Hogwarts and the Forbidden Forest right over here. This is very cool again. So let's move this out of the way for our last thing. So last but not least, my favorite item. Now, I know I've said my favorite like five times in this video, but without doubt, my favorite piece that comes in every wizarding trunk for these past few that they've been doing until they finish out all seven of the books is they have teamed up with Danny again at Wizardry Workshop, and he has been making these beautiful book covers that go to the U.S. edition hardcovers of the Harry Potter series. So here we can already see this lovely, it looks like blue foiling, which Danny does foiling all the time and it always comes out great. Uh, so let's see what this is. I'm imagining that this is an astronomy book uh, instead of a potions book. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Get this the right way. Wow. This is just beautiful. It says, written in the stars, astrology for the modern age. And here we have the spine. Oh God, this is stunning. I love the vintage looking wizards that are used in this. It kind of reminds me of the Defense Against the Dark Arts for Beginners book that is in the franchise. Wow, wow, I love the texturing on the book. It really looks like 
the green part is like a woven fabric. So this will fit on the Order of the Phoenix US edition hardcover. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my books available to me right now. The only one that I have on the shelf is The Deathly Hollows and The Cursed Child, because those were the last two that I had read recently. So I'm not gonna be able to put this on there yet. My stuff is all in storage right now in the attic, so I have to find uh, my books, and then I will hopefully be able to do a review of all of them so that once we get everything, I can put them all on the books and show you guys that whole collection, which is just gonna look incredible on my bookshelf, or I might find a different spot for them, but Wow. Again, I'm blown away. By far, this was my favorite box from the Wizarding Trunk. So now that we've finished up looking at everything, let's take a look at that cheat sheet. Preparing ingredients. First, use your silver knife to roughly chop both nutgrass and belladonna. Weigh your fresh lavender and ensure that all four springs do not exceed 50 grams. Note, you must use fresh lavender. If using dry lavender, the mixture will congeal. Use the mortar and pestle to crush both scarab beetles to a fine powder. Brewing potion. Fill your cauldron with three quarts of crystal infused water and bring the water to a boil. Add chopped knotgrass and belladonna while stirring counterclockwise 31 times. Use your wand to magically separate knotgrass and belladonna. When this step is complete, add in two blue fairy wings to the cauldron. Stir clockwise 10 times before adding the powdered scarab beetle and then reverse stirring to counterclockwise until the color changes from green to dark purple. The final step is to add all the lavender and immediately transfer the mixture to a vial and stopper. Over the course of one month, the potion will change colors twice, first to a pale pink and then to a periwinkle purple. Once purple again, the potion is ready to consume. And now if we flip to the back, it says, Recipe, Ephysiene's Elixir. Ingredients, knotgrass, belladonna, fairy wings, two scarab beetles, four sprigs of lavender, crystal infused water. Equipment, wand, vials, cauldron, brass scales, silver dagger, mortar, and pestle. Effects and notes. Ephysiene's is the Latin word for productive and if brewed correctly, this potion makes the drinker just that. This potion should not be taken in excess as doing so will cause severe exhaustion. Only one spoonful should be consumed weekly. If you start to feel tired, you should soak a bizarre in water from the ocean for 24 hours and then consume the liquid. If tiredness persists, then you may need to consume a simple sleeping draught. Now let's open this up and let's go through the checklist. All right, so the Wizarding Trunk Potions and Astronomy. Number one, written in the stars, astronomy book cover. This book cover is exclusive to the Wizarding Trunk and was created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. This book fits to the fifth American hardcover book. Now for those of you who have missed the Wizarding Trunk, if you still want to buy these book covers, if you go on their website, they actually still have a lot of them left in stock. They range for about, I think, $14 to $17 per cover. These are incredible. I recommend to any Harry Potter fan, whether you want the whole subscription box or not, definitely check these out. If you like the books and you have the American Edition hardcovers, this is definitely something to step up your book collection. So moving forward, we have number two, the Wolfsbane Potion. This potion is used to lessen the effects of lycanthropy. This bottle was designed by Wizardry Workshop and created by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, so this is again a The Wizarding Trunk exclusive and not designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So moving forward, we have number three, the Bazaar Box. A bazaar is a stone that is taken from the intestines of an animal and are considered to be a remedy for almost any poison if swallowed whole. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and created by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, so I apologize again to Pure Blood Apothecary. I thought that your work was done by Danny Wizardry Workshop, and I'm sorry, but both are incredible. And I'm definitely now going to have to look more into Pure Blood Apothecary. Number four, we have the Cauldron Planter. This standard size two cauldron is designed to be a planter to grow any potion ingredients you may not have on hand. So, okay, so you're gonna take that and you can plant seeds in it and that, that's cute, that's really cool. I would love to have a tree going out of cauldron. That's kind of dope. 
Number five, we have the Phoenix Tears. Phoenix Tears are known to have healing properties, but are very rare. While they can be used as a standalone healing agent, adding just one drop to any healing tonic strengthens the potion greatly. Designed by J.P. Mistlecrow, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Okay, again. Someone that I am not familiar with. I'm definitely gonna have to look up JP Mistlecrow. Number six, Galaxy Necklace. Not everyone can make it to the highest tower to complete their schoolwork. Gaze into this necklace and admire your galaxy within to complete your schoolwork from anywhere. That's cool. Number seven, a vial of molten gold liquid. Each of these teardrop shaped bottles were hand blown exclusively for the wizarding trunk. Use this vial for one amazing and lucky day. Use it well. Bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Again, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number eight, we have Mr. Brisbane's Brass Polish and Sanitizer. This astronomical polish and sanitizer is actually a spray-on hand sanitizer that was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. Number nine, we have the World's Strongest Love Potion Pin. While we understand that most interpretations of this love potion are red and pink, this potion actually has a mother of pearl sheen. Now, that's something that I did notice and I really like about this pen. It's got a glitteriness to it and it looks very cool having the pink silhouette and then the white pearl inside. That's just a nice little touch that they did. Number 10, we have Knotgrass and Belladonna seeds. These seeds are actually flowering seeds that will produce green and blue flowering plants. Great for your new cauldron planter or simply to display. Okay, so these seeds actually will sprout something. That's very, very cool. How many times am I gonna say cool in this video? This is one of the nicest things I've seen now, knowing this. So you can plant these seeds inside of your cauldron planter. That's awesome. Number 11, we have Efficien's Elixir Recipe Notepad. Again, if I'm saying this wrong, I'm sorry. Just please let me know in the comments. Efficien's translates to productive in Latin. This elixir is designed to make you just that. Caution, taking this elixir in excess can result in extreme exhaustion. Those are drug exclusive. And number 12, we have Star Chart on the Grounds. This print depicts the view of the stars from the grounds created for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Again, the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. So that's that, folks. This has been my unboxing of the February edition of the Wizarding Trunk. Now again, the Wizarding Trunk is a bi-monthly subscription box, which means that you're gonna get it every two months instead of every month. These boxes are available again at the Wizarding Trunk's website. And like I said, if you go and you look on the Wizarding Trunk store, which is another link, you can find a lot of previous items which are now no longer available unless you buy them from the Wizarding Trunk store. Well, folks, thank you again for watching my very first unboxing video. I hope you liked it. Please, if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. It really helps out with the channel, and it lets me know that you guys want me to keep making these. So again, stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, and stay super friends.